let's let's do this. <laughs> remember when I t remember when I told you guys that this Steam Deck needed a 10-inch display? Remember? <laughs> yeah, who's laughing now? You know, ever since Valve said, uh, you know, uh, we couldn't find a game the Steam Deck couldn't run. The competition is coming from everywhere. <laughs> You're like, okay. What are you saying? Now what? Okay. Remember I told you the Steam Deck needed a 10 inch display. Remember when I this did that video with the Steam Deck and I said the button layouts and the and with and the hand how you rest your hands on the Steam Deck is fine. You need to just lengthen the screen and make it a 10 inch display. Remember that? Okay. <laughs> You're like, okay. You remember you remember the you remember the G, I think it was the GP10? That was a handheld that was a, that had like a 10 inch display. Remember that? All right. Hmm. Listen to this. Listen to this. Intel and Intel and Tencent are cooking up a Steam Deck rival with a massive 3D display. Hmm. Says here the experimental Sunday Dragon 3D one has an 11 inch 120 hertz this 120 hertz display and Intel Lunar Lake APU to create the first glass free 3D handheld. <laughs> this says an experimental uh, new Steam Deck rival from Intel and Chinese behemoth Tencent has just been announced. The Sunday uh, Dragon 3D One is a fully featured gaming handheld PC that comes with Nintendo Switch style removable controllers, one on each side, and an Intel Core Ultra uh, 7 285V APU powering the pro uh, proceedings. However, it is the biggest feature is the huge 11 inch display on offer, which Tencent suggests. It's the first glassless free 3D gaming handheld. It says this isn't the first Intel Lunar Lake gaming handheld that's been announced, but it's certainly the biggest. In fact, this 10 cent handheld easily dwarfs any of the best handheld gaming PC that you can buy right now, including the Steam Deck OLED with an extra free, uh, extra three to four hour inch of screen real estate. Mm. Says your, uh, the detail of this intriguing Intel Tencent experiment have been shared in a report by Chinese tech site IT Home. The 11-inch 120 hertz display puts it into iPad Pro territory for size, but there are some surprising extras. For instance, there's an eye tracking uh, sensor that, uh, along with an image interlacing algorithm, allow for what IT Homes described as naked eye 3D visuals with games like Path of Exile specifically mentioned as being optimized for the technology. Then it says, along with this glass, glasses are free 3D tech, Tencent has also put together a pretty powerful gaming handheld. Intel Core Ultra 7 285V benchmark show that this uh, handheld APU is twice as fast as the a AMD APU used in both the Steam Deck and original ROG Ally while the 32 gigs of the LP DDR, DD, uh, 5 x RAM gives it a dominant edge in resource ready, uh, uh, um, resource greedy games. <laughs> That's a great, really already. It says there, there, there's also one terabyte of storage available, but Tencent hasn't made it clear what operating system this handheld is likely to run. Windows 11 would certainly be possible given Intel Core Ultra, uh, 725 V. APU, but a custom custom flavor of Linux, like the Steam Deck OS, that's, that part is in parentheses, can't be ruled out either. Tencent hasn't shared how big a battery is is included, although it's rated for 100 watts. And then it says uh, the re removable con controllers on the side of the screen are um, another intriguing feature of this experiment uh, handheld, giving it a Nintendo Switch-like quality. However, the 3D one does appear to have both USB-A Type-C and port uh, Type-A and Type-C ports, so keyboard and mouse uh, support might be possible as an alternative. It says here, unfortunately, details are light, including any information about the release date, and it might not get one. Might not get one. This is still an experimental product launched by Intel and Tencel uh, joint, jointly, so it might. Uh, simply be a showcase for this Intel Lunar Lake APU. It could also be a statement of intent of a move by the Chinese gaming powerhouse into the gaming handheld industry. 
And it says, uh, for now, we just have to wait and see what Tencent is cooking. In the meantime, check out our Asus ROG Ally X review for a high power gaming handhelds that you can pick up right now. Hmm. Well, you got an 11 inch display on the um, on this um, uh, uh, handheld. They're detachable controllers, but the controllers is missing um, is missing those uh, D pads that the that the Steam Deck has. <laughs> That's what it's missing too. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's it's behind on that front. But an 11 inch has a USB Type A and C port. Hmm. Yeah. And, and then it's coming with an Intel Core Ultra 7285V. Okay, one terabyte of storage. Okay. Uh, um, it hasn't, they, haven't, they haven't decided which operating system they're going to use. Huh? Okay. 32 gigs. Well, the Steam Deck already does 32 gigs of RAM. You can do 32 gigs of RAM with the Steam Deck. Um, but, the, um, but the screen size is bigger than the Steam Deck. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about 11 inches. So, uh, yeah, um, in, Intel, uh, Intel, uh, as, as came to, uh, it looked like Intel and Tencent just came to play again, <laughs> or Tencent. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 120 hertz, okay. Naked 3D visuals, okay, all right. Let's see here, uh, what else? What else? Mm. Yeah. Well, Valve, well, Valve did start a war, you know. They knew the competition was coming. We couldn't find a game. The Steam Deck couldn't run. <laughs> the competitors was like, okay, really? All right, we get it. We get it. We got something to say about that, too, you know. Look what we got here. <laughs> so, yeah, like I told you people before, Get your pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, $5 bills, and $1 bill ready for these handhelds, boy. <laughs> yeah, competition competition is fierce <laughs> in, in these uh in, in the hand in the in the portable PC market, boy. Like I always tell you PC gamers, you're spoiled. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, 11 inches. Remember when I did that Steam Deck video and I said the Steam Deck need to be like need to be 10, need to be 10 inches? Remember that? It ain't funny no more. I guess the statement is true. <laughs> Size does matter. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Valve, uh, you're going to have to come out with a 10-inch display on the Steam Deck too. <laughs> you're going to have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, screen, screen size matters now. Uh huh. So uh, yeah, I, I, hey, when I did that video, man, I got the idea from... Um, I think it was the GP10 that, that, that they had, and I, and I decided to make a video about the Steam Deck. Like, it needs like a 10-inch display. The button layouts for the Steam Deck is fine. All they got to do now is just increase the screen size and then take it from there. Yeah. And, I mean, the button layouts is fine. From the, the way the Steam Deck button layouts is, is, is presented, perfect. You know, and, and the way you can rest your, um, rest, rest, rest this on the handheld while you're playing for comfort. Perfect. All Valve got to do now is increase the screen size, and we're good. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, but uh, Intel and our uh, Tencent is like, okay, we got something to say about that too. <laughs> they came with eleven inches. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video uh here for, for y'all to enjoy though. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. The Star Wars Star Trek thing. Poor Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.